tearing down other human beings for your own self-interest is the dog shit move of humanity. It's the internet though right now, Gary. The internet almost rewards. No, no, the internet doesn't reward. Like, it's humans. People love to blame the internet. People love to blame social media. People love to blame politicians. It's you, fuckface. Stop being a dick. (laughs) Every person that has ever done the internet knows of this man's existence and has been inspired what? What? Or influenced what? or entertained. What? Ladies and gentlemen, a man who has an NFT Super Bowl in a NFL stadium, not only last year, but this upcoming year. Obviously, an author, five time New York Times bestseller. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary V. Gary! Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Hey, your titles are long. I don't think I would have been able to do a full intro. And we were a little bit late because one of our computers just decided to update out of nowhere. I heard. So we apologize and we thank you for making time for us, brother. How are you doing? Garrett Wilson, offensive rookie of the year. Let's go. Let's go. You heard? Let's go. The you future heard? is bright for your Jets team, Gary. I feel, I feel very confident. I think Brees Hall would have been number one or two sure. in rookie of the year as well. And so... Yeah, there's a lot of things. Obviously, the quarterback situation is something we have to figure out, but there's a lot of pieces in place. So do you think because you were getting a kind of a taste that the Jets were almost good at football this year, that's why whenever they would lose, you'd be so fucking mad. Do you, do you think that is? I've been so fucking mad. No, I've no, this lost. year, though, there it was, was different. A, it felt it was like you guys seats. had a chance, yeah. right? Uh-huh. It's almost like you were grasping at hope a little bit. No, that, And then the Jets no, come back no, in. No, let's all Classic. calm down. That video, and I... First of all, I love all of you, and so I'm very aware of what's always going on, let alone a massive global show like this. <laughs> Just so you know, I know what like some weird dude in the basement in Ohio is doing. I definitely know what you guys are doing. All right, good. <laughs> Had to cover it. Had so to cover it. Had to cover it. That was, did you watch that football game? The Browns had won. Like, I, I wait to the last second of every football game, if it's still within scoring distance, to not let my emotions go happy or sad. But that game was over, over. Yeah. And so, of course, I lost my mind awesome. in winning that Browns game. Great and, and that was a decade of frustration being yep. let out. Yes. Just to remind everybody. So let's talk about this. You hold on, shoot, hold on. I got to say football this. Fan, Pat, though. Shoot got, football fan, though. I got to say something. Go ahead. There is no distant second to the Jets' playoff drought right now. Mm. We have not been there for 12 years. So we are pent up. Mm. Mm. And I'm saying it right now early so you can clip this a lot next year. We're going to fucking dominate next year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. The Jets? What does the that Jets! Mean? What does that mean, though? Okay, all right. Domination. What that, that means 10 and 7. <laughs> 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 but that's still good. I'm pumped about 10 and 7. So is that what the expectations are, though? We're going to make the playoffs, maybe get a playoff win for the Look, first time in 12 this is, years? This is, a, this is a very, very talented bunch. There's a lot left to be done. We've got a draft. We've got free agency. Well, is Aaron Rodgers your quarterback or what? Zach Wilson? My intuition... Yeah, first of all, I don't want to give up on Zach I'm so tired. You're of, a good person for that. I'm a good Which person. Which you are. Yeah, you're the only one. Yes, comma. Yeah, you're Gary Vee. Man, it's also logical. Like, Geno Smith was productive this year. We gave up on him when you were, like, seven. Yeah. Right? Like, wow. people are giving up too he simple. He got punched, right, though? Yeah, he got punched in the face. I oh, a different situation. Job. Yes, he did get punched. I guess by the a Zach linebacker. Wilson situation kind of yeah. Zach similar. got punched. By the way, Zach got punched. He got punched emotionally. Not physically oh, like Geno. Okay. But <laughs> Zach is hit. Zach is at rock bottom which actually will allow us to get a very good read on him because he's absolutely at a crossroads. Agreed. And we took the fucking kid number two 24 months ago. I'm not ready to be like, it's over. Everyone's so fucking of the second. So you don't want Aaron Rodgers? Jets don't want Aaron Rodgers? I want, it, when it comes to Aaron or Jimmy G or Derek Carr, Ooh. I think Tannen Hill's probably in play as well. Of mm, the, of good the, call, actually. Of the crew that's out there. I want to know which one wants to come in and realize they're in a great situation and try to win some playoff games and go to this game next year. But I also want somebody who's got 5 to 10% of their energy capacity to try to help the kid along as well. Oh, Zach. So I, that's right. So that's what I'm interested in. AJ has a question for you. What yeah. about Baker Mayfield? You left him out there. Is he a possibility? Listen, I think he's a possibility. It hasn't hit my radar. I, I don't know why that hasn't happened. Uh, one, awesome. one more follow-up. Like, out of everything you do, actually, AQ Shipley right here, we were wondering if someone asked you, hey, Gary, what do you do for a living? What do you yeah. tell them? I mean, I'm an you, entrepreneur. You do everything. Yeah, I do so much shit. I'm an entrepreneur. Like, I think that's the definition. Like, yeah. You want to run different things. and you know, I, It's a little bit of a renaissance man, Hawk. Like, like it's just like I like doing a lot of shit. Is that your next book? Renaissance man? Ooh. Yeah. Hawk that. or like yeah with the hawk yeah with the bird because yeah. yeah. that makes oh, a better pet hawk that'd be yeah. sweet yeah. yeah 
that the next book name? No, the next book is Jab, 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 Left Hook. Oh, oh. which is your content oh, yes. to charge people. Correct. Modern. Jab, 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 Right Hook was a huge book for me. I wrote 10 years ago of like, this is how you actually make content on the internet. Right now, content is changing. The TikTokification of all social media, everyone watching here now actually has a chance to make one clip about pizza or sports or gardening and it can hit and it can change the course of their lives. Yeah, we and did it. I mean, we were a dumb group of yeah, that has happened. Look yeah. at you characters. Yeah, look at us. Thanks. Hey, look yeah. at us, Gary. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, us. <laughs> Getting sued by Brett, your quarterback. My quarterback. Yeah, that's your yeah, quarterback. Right. He's suing me. By the way, that was an amazing season for the Jets. If he didn't get hurt in Tennessee, I think the Jets win that Super Bowl. They went in and beat a 10-0 and Titans team in Nashville, 31 to seven, and I was like, "Wait a minute, it might happen," and we lost literally every game for no, the rest of the season. Oh, that's tough. You got to get lucky too. Brett and did Jets throw just 20 picks not... that year as well. Yeah, allegedly. And, uh, there was some other stuff. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. Yeah. Thank Mar- you. Mar- allegedly, Mar- allegedly. Mar- allegedly. Before and after every statement. Right. Pat, can I ask you a question? The, these lawsuits, they don't put the allegedly. They no, know. they don't. They edited that out of there. Pat, anyway, sorry about it. It's been a while since I've been actually on the show. In mm-hmm. that time, you've become probably the most important person in sports. Gary, that's an absurd mm. statement. It's not. <laughs> it is, it's not. It is an absurd statement. Even if you look at the reaction of your family here, they all know you are 80,000 times more important than you were five years ago in the, the genre of sports culture. Do you feel, you know, I understand you, you punted in front of lots of people. There's pressure good, with that, yeah. right? WrestleMania, yep. too. Yeah. Yeah. WrestleMania was massive. You were amazing. Yeah, yeah undefeated. Punted. Thank you. Uh, you. Yeah. you. broke my ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But do you feel extra pressure now that you're... No. The establishment? That's interesting because uh, we're still independent, though. So are we in the establishment or are we still the pirate? Because we're making more money than most of the establishment. We're still independent, though. So I, I feel good of, about the fact that we don't have people controlling what we can talk about and what we don't talk about. I love that. I think that's a big deal. That is the deal. But, yeah, we have to. I mean, with this whole lawsuit thing, we knew... I knew one was probably coming at some point just because the way we operate. You know, sure. we're loose. W- we're wide open. You're loose. We are yeah. wide. Loose. We are wide open. And I don't think we mean any ill intent. Mm-hmm. We just mean, like, how do we make the most entertaining shit? And we try not to be negative ever because I think it's very easy. Like, I think you have been a great um, trailblazer for this movement. Negative sports is easy. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. burying somebody's easy. You get a lot of clips from that. But I remember being in a locker room, and some of my teammates are getting killed. I'm like, yo, this is a good fucking dude. He's just so happened to have a couple bad games. So we try to stay as positive as possible. It's, it's one of my biggest, biggest reasons that I really fuck with you guys on some real shit. Tearing down other human beings for your own self-interest is the dog shit move of humanity. It's the internet, though, right now, Gary. Yeah, no, yeah, big no, time. no, 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 no. Some no, parts no, of the internet, no, no, I guess. No, no, right? exactly. People love to blame the internet. People love to blame social media. People love to blame politicians. It's you, fuckface. Stop being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> That's a great point, but you know just as much as I do, when you put a scoreboard on every piece of content, which yep. they have, yep. and people are trying to make a living out of it, whenever I think people get addicted to those numbers. People definitely get addicted to those numbers, but it doesn't mean it's right. Also, no, agreed, but right. that's why I say whenever I say internet, it's like the internet almost rewards. No, no, the internet doesn't reward. Like, it's humans. That are, are doing do- the rewarding. The social media pipes are empty, Pat. They're fucking empty. There's oh, they- people that make stuff, and there's people that consume stuff. And I think it's time we take a step back and realize why are we hurting that we get micro joy out of someone else hurting? Mm. What part of you is happy when somebody's shitting on LeBron James. What part of you is happy? To your you point, though, to that point, like somebody just got paid $8 million a year at the age of 75 yeah. to shit on LeBron James, though. Like, and that's not the internet, though. That's TV. Right. So Which it's almost even, like a societal problem. Almost. Well, that's right. That's the point. Like, the, like, everyone wants to blame everybody but themselves. And so you're in control of yourself. Hell yeah. Do you want to compromise? Like, do you want to make a bag by shitting on people 24 7? You got to live with that shit. Yeah. Like, like so great, you have a fucking Lambo, but you don't sleep great at night. Who's making that trade? A lot of people. Yep. But guess what? Okay, that's not an interesting fucking trade for me. And everybody who's watching, you don't have to follow that yeah, shit. Agreed. There's plenty of alternatives and a million people living happy not doing that. Isn't it crazy? There's some people that just have no conscience. It's crazy. Like, they're laying down at night, they just fuck somebody over completely, and then they just sleep soundly, and then they wake up the next day, and they're like, I'm going to file a defamation lawsuit. I I would actually... (laughs) Nuts. There's people that do that. There's people that could do that. I would actually argue that it's the complete reverse of that. It's not that they don't have conscience. It's that they're actually hurting. 
Ah. Uh, so you're saying What is that? Hurt people hurt people? Isn't that a thing? 100%. Oh, is that real? I, I, it's the it's Hell actually yeah. the realest fucking statement on earth. How do you change that? Oh yeah, AJ. by having compassion and empathy for people that are hurting. And concussion cream empathy. There's also that. That works too. That's also a thing. Ty like has a question for you, Gary. Ahead, Gary, the last couple times we've talked, you've talked about buying the Jets. Yes. How realistic is that in very. your mind? Yes. Very. Okay. But yes. what happens, like, if let's say you the crowdsourcing? Jets, let's say let's say the Johnson sell in three years, and I'm not financially ready, and it goes somewhere else. Then yeah. It, some or or, it's they, or, it's or if it's they over. start winning, then it's over. if they start winning, and the, what, you what you're ex- what, what you're expecting to pay right now is much different, especially when you Ty, look you're at you're much smarter than this thinking on. that winning has an impact time. on the sale of a team. That very time. Come on, Todd. Well, I don't know. You don't know what price. What part on the price? Yeah. Definitely on the price. Definitely on the price of the team. There's teams that sell. Like, if you look at how teams sell, they're just such rare assets. Like, like the Panthers weren't fucking crushing it when they're selling for a record price. The Broncos, like, it's just people want teams. And New York's going to be expensive regardless. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not like I want the fucking Saints, you know, or the fucking Colts, you know, like, yeah, like you know, so, yeah, I want the Colts, you know, and yeah. so, and so <laughs> I want a certain team. It's going to be what it's going to be. I'm going to keep trying long before I ever made a video on the internet. When I was in fourth grade, I'm like, I'm going to do this seventh grade, 12th grade, like 20. Right. And so right. this is my goal. Right. Hell yeah. That's a good goal. It's a good dream. Oh. Vision I, board. You do a lot of that and you accomplish them all. I got to tell you, like, what's scary is I genuinely think it's going to happen. What's even more exciting is if it doesn't happen, I fucking tried. Are you a hedge fund guy at all or no? No. Isn't that where you got to get to to get the amount of money to potentially do that? The do you have a plan on getting to the money? Yeah, I'm building businesses. I'm building, you know, V Friends is an intellectual property. It's a Pokemon meets Sesame Street. I Sick, think. by the way, and has had success. A lot of uh-huh. NFTs have failed completely. The V Friends is still going very strong. Mm-hmm. And then, Congratulations. Thank you. No and Vayner X is a... $350 million revenue business, 2,000 employees that I started from scratch with my brother 13 years ago. I'll do that for another decade. Hell that's yeah. A, that's a multi-billion dollar exit if I do it properly. You think you can get to it? I think I can get to it. Let's go. Go get it. VCon next year. Lucas Shoot Oil shark. Stadium. Yes, VCon. I, and Gary B is up there. Gary uh-huh. B Gary is. B's up there, the humble uh, hippo. What about Patient Panda? Panda. Oh. oh. Patient. Do it iguana. Patient. Who said that? Yep. Come on. We know your shit, Come on, Ty. Come on. Come on. We're on the internet, G. We're on the internet, G. We know. Gary, Intuitive Iguana was in the commercial for where VCon was going to be. Boom. With Gary. And the patient panda. We take it all in. I appreciate you guys And the Gary B came in. Yep. Uh I love you guys. We watch. We follow. Some of the shit you focus on, we're like, well, that's not for us. But then the other stuff, we're like, seems like if Gary's paying attention to it. 99% of your takes on this show is not for me, but (laughs) that's life. Well, we just see the way you're operating. We have Gary's... If Gary thinks this is of importance, probably a good idea for us to think that. Yeah, You've had a that's what's good track, track record. record. And, yes. and by the way, that's what's going on with y'all. Like, I, you know, we got to talk for a few seconds before backstage. One of the most enjoyable things for me is watching other people win. Back to the reverse of what we were just talking about. We've, we've been on each other's radar for a long time. Watching all of you build what you guys have been building has been a great joy, and I, I genuinely wish you so much success and the happiness and escapism that you bring for so many people that watch this show is very meaningful, and I cheer for you guys heavy. Man, that's very dope of you oh, to say. Yeah. Very, very nice of you to say. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Now, with that being said, our takes would probably be more for you if the Jets didn't suck. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. For sure. Yeah, yeah if the Jets were a little bit better, you know what you I mean. Might help. You gotta, you gotta appreciate something. I love being a Jets fan. You know who I feel bad for? Thirty-five-year-old Patriot fans. Well, oh, that's that know. guy right down I there at the end. Close. I He's twenty-seven. Feel bad, 27. But, well, yeah. let me explain the badness. Sure. You actually believe you achieved something. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's what's so funny. Oh, cool. yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's not nice. the only one. I have nice. six Super Bowl right. championships. That's here. right. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. exactly right. Don't so not to me. mention an NBA championship. That's right. An NHL championship. Well, and two baseball NHL. championships. Why? You are the greatest <laughs> athlete of all time. Two MLS Cups. <laughs> Don't forget about the revolution. revolution. Yeah. Come Let's on. go. Hell yeah. That's right. But you're, it, but it's terrible from here on yeah. for the rest of his life. Yeah, when, when your self-esteem is <laughs> yeah. wrapped up into a team that has nothing to do with your actual life, it can get confusing. <laughs> it, that doesn't mean that you're bad. <laughs> Burial, oh, bro. But, it's, but it's confusing. <laughs> yeah. I think that Chief fans are starting to get confused. I definitely know that Golden State Warriors fans are confused because I was doing tech investing when the Warriors were not good. 
nobody in fucking SF knew a clue. They didn't even know where Golden State was. They they wouldn't know Chris Mullen. Hold if on, what are you shit in? On Uber? <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. They didn't know them at all. Great and all player. of a sudden, this, the Warriors started getting good, and all these Google and Facebook yep. and tech Hell people yeah. were like, Front Warriors, row. Warriors. Those fuckers are so confused. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't even know what basketball is because Steph doesn't play with basketball. Play, Steph go. plays a different style of that's, basketball that's, that's, nobody else that's can play. That's damn true. What are you in? You're in Uber? Well, let me, let me, let me finish this up. Yes, all of them. But listen. All of them. Oh, yeah. Being a Jets fan is phenomenal. All of them. You, you deal with adversity at scale. The world's against you. I love it. I love when all the fuckers get on Twitter and they're like, you fucking say that. I'm like, okay, I want to eat all that shit. Give it <laughs> yeah. all yeah. to me. Yeah. And then when we fucking rise and win it, I'm going to fucking stick it to everyone. Yeah, we won a regular season game against the Browns. I lost my fucking mind. Yeah. Could you imagine when the Jets win the Super Bowl? Yeah. I'm burn you, the earth to the ground. Yeah, hell sure. yeah. We can't wait for sure. it. And then Gary B will come in with a hose. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That whole thing save the whole thing. Save yeah. the uh, we appreciate you. Say, yeah, here's you lose your mind. Receipts, motherfucker. Fucking receipts. Oh. Fuck, you, <laughs> Fuck you, Jacoby. Receipts, motherfucker. Receipts. Hold on. We start the receipts conversation. Oh, became yeah, a yeah. large yeah. Every single awesome. week. Every time we picked the Jets game, it was like, we don't want to end up on Gary's fucking yeah. receipts yeah. video. Yeah. But we do think the Jets are going to lose this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want a little bit of a run. We appreciate the hell out of Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. You're the man. Such a pleasure. Love you. Keep crushing it, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Thank Gary you so v. much. Yeah, Gary. Yeah. Woo. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Thank you very much.